Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do an L-sit on tramp wall. L-sits are a fun trick with a bunch of variations, and believe it or not, you don't even need to be good at a regular L-sit to do these. It would definitely help, but it's not a strict requirement. All you really need are decent active pike mobility, the ability to bear weight in your hands momentarily, basic control on tramp wall, and no fear of death. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is put a mat on top of the wall. Your tailbone will thank you in a couple minutes. Jump and do a half turn to your back, and then reach up and forward with your arms while simultaneously driving your toes and hips up into a pike jump to land standing on top. In other words, do a ball out setup. Next, do the exact same thing, but deliberately use way less power in the takeoff. As you come out of the tramp bed, instead of reaching so much with your upper body, deliberately leave the chest behind and hold that mid-air pike position all the way up to land sitting. This can be pretty disconcerting at first, so aim further over the wall than you think you might need to, because in this case we're just trying to be in a safe, secure place where you land completely on top. As you get more comfortable, start to incrementally move closer to the corner of the wall with your catches, and try to make sure that instead of letting your heels or your butt fall down, you're catching with your hands first. Once it feels pretty comfortable and looks roughly like this, move on to the next drill. For this next drill, run really low on the wall, you don't want your hips to come much higher than the top, and try these tucked gremlin looking bounces where your feet are on the face and you actively pull your butt towards your heels. Don't push too hard, you don't really want that much power for this trick, and as you start getting more comfortable with this placement, try to touch the wall with your hands at a comfortable width. This is a good time to decide which grip you want to use. I prefer to hook my thumbs on the face and let my fingers come over the top, almost as if I stop myself with my thumbs, but you can turn your hands out, you can turn your hands into reverse grip, any of these grips work, so figure out what feels most natural for you and go with that. As you start to feel comfortable in this drill and you can reliably catch on the corner every single time, really the only difference between doing this and actually just doing the L-sit is picking your feet up and committing to doing it. It's really just a matter of letting your feet come about a centimeter higher than they already are and just passing slightly over the corner. If you're not comfortable with that yet and you want another drill, here's a nice in-between. The Nutcracker. These are technically an L-sit variation. You sometimes see them in shows as a kind of pratfall or a joke trick, but it's also a pretty safe way of learning to do the L-sit. It requires much less commitment than the full L-sit because you keep one leg against the face and you can literally just sit down on the top with your top leg at any point if you feel uncomfortable. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to anyways. The goal here is to pretend to smash your crotch against the wall, not to actually do it. So be safe and don't neuter yourself. Lastly, the big risk with L-sit on wall is catching your heels as you drop back in and ending yourself. If you have access to a foam pit or some nice mats, you can put a block next to them, do an L-sit on the corner, and mimic this feeling of dropping back in while maintaining your pike compression. This isn't strictly necessary to do, but if you're feeling unsafe, I highly recommend it. If you did all the drills, it's really just a matter at this point of going for it, but here are a few tips and tricks that'll help you with the technique. Make sure you keep your height and your power very minimal. You don't want to blast over the top. You want to aim just above the corner, like grazing the backs of your legs as close as possible without actually making contact close. Watch the edge where you plan to catch from the moment you take off till the moment you catch. Make sure you're actively holding your pike position and holding your feet up off the wall so that they don't catch on the way up or on top or when you drop back in. As you drop back in, Lean out and shove yourself away from the wall with your hands. I don't like to push off with my feet for these, but if you feel like you're gonna fall in the frame, by all means push yourself into the bed. When you catch, the more upright you are and the more forward your shoulders come, the heavier this is gonna feel because you start to pass into a real L-sit. If you catch with your shoulders above the springs and then just rock into and out of the position, you'll feel weightless and it's gonna be much easier to do. I first learned these by staying very close to the wall and bouncing pretty much vertically, now I think that's a little bit sketchier. I think the best way to figure out where to bounce in the bed is just to do as many consecutive L-sits as possible, because the first one is usually a little awkward, but all the ones that follow tend to fall into a nice rhythm of placement and trajectory. L-sits are pretty straightforward. The biggest mistake people make is tipping themselves onto their neck by either going too inverted as they push off or by catching their heels. 
I hate to say it like this, but no matter what you do, no matter how good your pike compression is, there's never going to be that much clearance between your heels and the wall, so honestly, just really try not to catch your feet. Alright, now that you understand the standard L sit, here are some fun variations you can play with. There's the straddle L, there's one arm straddle L, and you can even do L sits against the face, you just have to let yourself go into a slightly scarier position. In any case, I think that'll do for my L sit tutorial. Remember that all acrobatic skills come with an inherent risk of injury, so please train safe because this particular one puts you pretty much constantly in a very vulnerable position. I hope this covered everything you need to know, but if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Scott A. McDonald, and happy training. Peace.